Hello everyone, ako po si Dr. Rases. Ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay about menstrual cycle. Marami kasi sa clinic yung nagkukonsulta about menstrual disorders tsaka yung nahihirapan mag-pregnant. Naisip ko magandang ituro yung menstrual cycle para maintindihan natin yung normal and with the understanding of the normal, mas maintindihan natin yung mga abnormal na at mga sakit na nagmumula sa disorders sa menstruation. Pero bago ako ipagpatuloy to, I'd like to ask you to, to click the like and subscribe button, pati yung notification bell, so you'll be notified of the new videos that's uploaded every week. Okay, so kung nagawa nyo na yan, let's get started! You probably have an idea what happens to your body during the menstrual cycle. It's preparing your body na mag for pregnancy. So, kapag ka yung egg na-release, tapos nag-meet sila ng sperm, so pregnancy happens. Kung hindi naman nangyari ang fertilization, um, nagdareg lang isang babae. So, that's the basic. Uh, but, if you are having problems getting pregnant or my menstrual disorder, it's really good to know the details about the menstrual cycle. So, ito yung female reproductive system. Um, ito yung uterus, the one that holds the baby during pregnancy. Ito yung endometrium or lining ng matres which um, kumakapal, numinipis, depende dun sa phase ng menstruation, menstruation or menstrual cycle. Ito yung fallopian tube. There are one on each side. Siya yung nagkakatch ng egg during ovulation. And ito yung ovaries. One on each side then They are almond-shaped organs that contains the eggs. Nung baby ka pa lang sa sinapupunan ng nanay mo, you have 6 million eggs. Nung pinanganak na, pinanganak ka na, 1 to 2 million na lang yung eggs. At the time of uh, first menstruation or puberty, there are about 300 to 400,000 eggs. So, kasi nga, mabilis din, madami din yung namamatay each month before puberty. That is about 10,000. Um, these are estimates. And then, after puberty, 1,000 eggs yung namamatay naman. And kaya nga, by the age of 32, nagde-decline na yung numbers ng eggs. At age 37, rapid na yung decline niya. During our reproductive years, we are releasing about 400 eggs. So, that, that is what happens. Kaya by the time na mag-menopause na at around 50, 51 or 52 years of age, uh, nasa 1,000 na lang yung natitirang eggs. By the age of 37, roughly the estimate number of eggs is about 25,000. Pero syempre, nag-iiba yung numbers na to. Depende din dun sa physical health or habits nung isang um, babae. And then, so yung ibang pa parts pa ng female reproductive system, ito yung cervix or kwelyo ng matres, which is the one that dilates during labor and delivery. So, it is an opening of the uterus into the vagina. This is the vaginal canal. So, it is, it like, it communicates um, between the uterus and outside of the body. So, dito din dumadaan yung baby during labor and delivery. So, ang menstruation, yung, yun yung ating uh, monthly na dalaw or monthly period um, or monthly bleeding. So, bakit ba siya nangyayari? It is because yung build up ng endometrium dun sa lining ng matres is, is shed off. So, lumalabas yung tissues at saka yung menstrual blood through the cervix into the vagina and out into our body. The reason kaya din kumakapal actually yung lining yung ng matres is to prepare for pregnancy. Kapag hindi nangyari yung fertilization ng egg at sperm, the, or if pregnancy does not happen, the levels of estrogen and progesterone remain or become slow. And itong pagbaba ng estrogen and progesterone na to will tell our bodies to begin to menstruate. Ang menstrual cycle ay ang hormonal changes na nangyayari sa katawan ng babae in preparation for pregnancy. So ito ay mula dun sa unang araw ng regla up to the first day of the next uh, period. Mga hormonal changes na nangyayari sa estrogen and progesterone throughout this cycle and can cause different symptoms. Ang average length ng menstrual cycle ay about 28 days. But anywhere between 24 to 38 days, um, according to the American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology, is considered normal. 
So some women have really very regular periods, meaning, meaning consistent na 28 days, 27, 29, within that range. Pero kung yung periods mo, napapansin mo, humahaba na siya by one week, tapos ilang months na siyang ganun, or you are missing your periods, it's good to see your health provider. The menstrual cycle is divided into several phases. The menstruation or menstrual phase, follicular, ovulation, and the luteal phase. Here's what happens during each one. Day one starts with your period. The blood and the tissue lining the uterus exits the cervix as menstrual blood. So, yun yung first day of the menstruation. And during this time, the estrogen levels are really very low which causes depression or low energy in the woman and the average length of um, number of days na nagmemens ang isang babae ay 4 to 8 days sa karamihan day 1 to 5 naman the follicles develop follicles are fluid filled sacs that contain the egg and kaya din siya tinawag na follicular phase uh, during the 5th day of the menstrual cycle the dominant follicle grows. So it continues to grow while the others or the remaining are reabsorbed back into the ovaries. And then yung estrogen levels, as you see here, tumataas siya. So this follicle continues to grow. So from between days 5 to 7, tapos tumataas din yung estrogen levels. By day 8 of the menstrual cycle, um, makita nyo, manipis na yung lining. So, wala na rin bleeding by then. So, by day 8, because of the increasing levels of the estrogen, um, nabuboost nung estrogen yung endorphin, which is a feel-good brain chemical, which is released during exercise. Kaya, ma during, after day 8 uh, and beyond, uh, mas mataas yung energy natin, we feel calm, and we feel more relaxed compared dun sa first day ng menstrual cycle natin na dahil mababa yung estrogen levels, we feel a little depressed. Another effect of the estrogen is dun sa lining. So, ang effect kasi ng estrogen, papakapalin na niya. So, if you see from this image, the endometrium thickens. Kasi nga, yung endometrium is being prepared for the implantation ng embryo if pregnancy happens. The uterine lining is rich in blood supply and nutrients and will help nourish the embryo if pregnancy happens. Few days before day 14, the estrogen levels um, rise increases. So, yung pag-increase ng estrogen levels na to will cause um, a sharp increase in the luteinizing hormone. So, ito yung LH peak na tinatawag. And then, this LH peak will cause the dominant follicle to release the egg. So, Kaya yun yung ovulation. So, there is a high chance na mabuntis during this time kasi readily available yung egg. And also, kung may sexual intercourse, at least 3 days before ovulation. Ang lifespan ng sperm ay 3 to 5 days. They live, uh, they can stay in the genital tract for around that time. Tapos, yung lifespan ng egg is about 12 to 24 hours. So, it's good to have the sperm ready 3 days before bago ma-release ito kasi very short lang yung lifespan ng egg and dahil din dun sa increased levels ng estrogen um, emotionally and physically women feel good during this time over the next week from days 15 to 24 the fallopian tube helps the newly released egg travel away from the ovary towards the uterus if a sperm is available and fertilize this egg, the fertilized egg travels down the fallopian tube and attaches to the womb. And pregnancy begins once this fertilized egg attaches to the endometrium. If the egg is not fertilized, it breaks apart. Around day 24, yung estrogen and progesterone levels suddenly decreases. So, this sudden decrease in the hormone causes mood changes. Kaya may mga ibang babae very sensitive to these hormonal changes to the extent that they suffer from anxiety, depression. Um, although not um, everyone suffers from this. So, bukod pa dun, what happens to the blood vessels in the endometrium, they constrict. 
So dahil nagko-constrict sila, ibig sabihin walang continuous na blood supply yung endometrium. Therefore, this endometrium breaks down. So the blood and the endometrial tissue is shed off as menstrual blood. Meanwhile, inflammatory chemicals called prostaglandins are produced in this disintegrating um, endometrium. And this prostaglandin causes the uterus to contract, kaya nagkakaroon ng menstrual cramps. And um, because the blood vessels in the endometrium ruptures, so the blood and the tissue is now shed off as, as menstruation. So the menstrual cycle begins again. Except during pregnancy, your body would continue on this incredible process until menopause. Maraming maraming salamat for joining me um, in this topic of menstrual cycle. I hope marami kayong natutunan. If you have questions or comments or mga suggestions for my next videos, please type them dun sa comment box below. And um, I hope you uh, share and like this video and also subscribe, uh, ask your friends to subscribe so we can learn together. So maraming maraming salamat till my next video.